So, you can turn off there. I don't want to do a video, but I'm doing a video. <laughs> it reminds you of something like maybe the last two videos I did. Anyways, um, I'm going to cut to the chase. So, basically, <laughs> she nice. Oh, she nice. So basically, this morning, let me fix my hat. So this morning, I had a girl call me, and I've not talked to this girl in shit like a week or so. So then she calls me out the blue, and then said I forward her call. So this starts some shit basically. I don't like that. So basically, two trillion dollars is given out. They passed the bill, and you know I'm not into politics, and I'm not, you know, gonna give my input on if I think it's a good deal or a bad deal or, or, or what I think, you know. I'm just going to celebrate that the people are getting paid. So that's basically what this is. It's just going to be a little sesh, you know, because the people are getting paid. Yeah. So. I had another person harass me about saying I was a bum and shit, and that shit got under my skin. I don't fucking like that. The silicone piece here. Gonna take a hit. And, um, leave down below what you're gonna spend the money on, cuz, shit. Probably gonna get some new clothes since everyone wants to talk about me and talk about what I look like and what I do and how I live my life and where I'm at and this and that when they don't really, you know, know, know me. Cheers. Bread, you know you're leaving the bad edits in. Yes, I'm leaving rough cuts in. Because that's real. And <coughs> I've noticed in the past few days, it didn't take very long for my stalkers to realize, or people who f fucking hate me, to realize, hey, he's doing videos again. He's talking about his life. He's talking about this and that. So as much as it hurts me, uh, I'm going to have to cut a lot of that out. And it's nothing against y'all personally. It's nothing against anyone who supports me. You know, I'm still going to, you know, say personal things here and there. But, you know, I got, got the cowboy hat on. I don't know if anyone followed me on Instagram about last year around... Uh, I don't know. I think around October last year. <coughs> but, um, you know, I was country friend, you know, and shit, people are going to call me this and white trash and all that, you know. Shit, I might as well play the part. <coughs> Die. Something I did want to clear up, and this is just, you know, this is just out the blue for a lot of people, because it, it shouldn't even be a thing. That's true. We are not together. We have never <laughs> dated. He's not gay. That is true. All and, way. two, I've tried to hook him up with bitches. He just doesn't want to talk to a bitch or get in a relationship with a bitch. Like, it's true. I'm like... 
one in the relationships. And from what he's witnessed in my relationships and in my like, bro, like almost all relationships I've witnessed. Yeah, like that would turn anyone off from one to be in a relationship or one to be like that attached to someone. So yeah, as much as out of the blue, I'm like still like. I ain't trying to get in a relationship till I get like my life together, and then I'm gonna make sure the bitch that I get with has her shit together too. It's not gonna be no bitch that like needs my support all the fucking time, twenty four seven. True, true. Like that. But you know, in my toxic mindset, that's kind of what I want. You know, a girl who has the loving heart of a mother, or you know, someone who I could see being a mother while being someone who wants me to support and could be that stay-at-home person. Very toxic, very toxic. But, uh... I like how the rumor goes around, oh, he's broke after I post a video of food and <laughs> everything. You know what I'm saying? True. Like, And it's not like just because there wasn't much food that was... Like, we didn't, like show. we didn't and they, show. They didn't show all of it. Honestly. Yeah, and they didn't even have that much. Yeah, it's... Oh, come on. But, uh... One of the reasons why that was a thing is because there is one bed. Now, without getting into too much, we had a room with two beds. And... I got with the girl and da 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 da. Me and him were not staying together. Me and him were not roommates at the time. Actually, so it man. went from that to a situation where either he was staying here or he had to go somewhere else that's pretty far away. So I was like, fuck it, you know, like just fucking stay here. A lot of people don't see it because I fucking cover the chair. Let me finish. Okay. I got all this bullshit. Like, bro, we got the bitch divided. Like, we ain't sitting there cuddling. You know what I'm saying? Along with, not only that, when we transferred to this room, this room should have been a two-bed to begin with. Because we did ask to make sure the room that we changed from was supposed to be a two-bed. The place we're staying at don't know what the fuck they're doing. But uh, another thing, I don't sleep. I've talked about this multiple times. I don't like talking about it. But my fear of going to sleep and something happening, someone dying, I die in my sleep, fucking whatever. I don't like going to sleep. He knows I fucking wake up fucking screaming and shit, fucking crying and shit. I wake up in a fucking panic attack, bro. Many a times, bro. So I don't like this shit going on. Like, oh, he, he's this, he's that. He's fucking lazy. He sleeps all. I don't like the rumors, but it's more or less. Why should I have to stand up and defend myself? You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to do it once and, you know, try to clear the air on everything. And if anyone has a problem or anything, you know, by this point on, you know, I'm I'm just a character, bro. I don't know what y'all talking about, you know. If I say some personal shit, it might be mixed in with some fucking some bullshit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, just to throw people off, because what else am I going to do? You know, what else, like, what else is there to do? You know, because I don't want to stop making videos for y'all guys. Because I still want y'all to have the motivation. I still want y'all to have, like, the connection, the friendship, the relationship, bro. Like, real talk. And I only see two ways out. Just fucking play a character and play it up. Or fucking just quit making videos. People saying this, people saying that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I got that song stuck in my head. What song? Chop Suey. <laughs> we up. Crap, I should put a little makeup. Oh, really? I haven't really listened to, like, many songs from that band. And, like, I don't think you trust in 
my self-righteous suicide. I cry when angels deserve to die. It's like that song and Chop Suey have to be one of my two favorites. That is Chop Suey. Oh, yeah. Chop Suey and you're probably thinking of Toxic City. Probably. <coughs> but, uh... People think, that's another rumor I want to clear up. People think, oh, you just listen to hip-hop. Like, bro, I woke up today listening to fucking Frank Sinatra, fucking Iron on My Hip, fucking just... Basically Western, and then it switched to uh, soft rock. Yeah, like some fucking Green Day. Well, actually, it was more like uh, Poppy at first. Or it sounded more like Poppy. I was playing some Green Day. Well... I think you're talking about before, and now I was playing some Juke World, like, yeah, fucking people think I only listen to one genre of music, and that is far, far, far from the truth, because I didn't grow up on hip-hop, and a lot of people don't know that. I grew up on a lot of rock music, a lot of, like, heavy metal, and then, like, my younger, my younger years was just, like, a lot of fucking screamo heavy rock, uh, soft rock, indie rock, a um, little pop here and there. I've never really been a, a big pop fan. That's one thing I will say. Uh, old country, new country, I've never been a fan of. Um, I don't know. I mean, for me, it was mostly, I want to say, Country and well, country gospel and like ACDC. Yeah, that's like heavy metal. Yeah. Like oh, dance. heavy metal, death metal. That's another one I like. Like just shit like that. We have like ACDC. What what are there like some other popular bands from that era again? Uh, Aerosmith. <laughs> Aerosmith. Um. Well, basically, like, that era of rock is mostly what I listened to at first. Until, like, I started developing, like, started trying to develop my own taste in music, and then it kind of branches out into a lot of different shit around that time. Well, shit. I, I was more trying to make this video about me, but you ain't even in camera no. view and shit. Okay. But now, nah, like, since you're giving your input and shit, how was the uh, Champagne Bank? Mm, it it honestly is not one I would get again, but Sorry. it's it, it's not one I would not recommend for people to try either. Yeah, it ain't bad. It ain't, it's not it bad. definitely ain't bad. But uh, is there any rumors that you think you know shit you can clear that up or anything like that? I don't really think so. I mean, you can take your head and just think about it, but but yeah, I mean, for right now. Not that I know. I mean, I think you pretty much covered bass on all of them. I mean, my Instagram posts. I guess I'll cover that. So, I don't get on Instagram much. And when I get on Instagram, I will be honest. Sometimes I am full of myself. Sometimes I say shit that I probably shouldn't say. And, you know, there's been many times I probably should delete it. But, <coughs> thanks for blowing that right in my fucking <coughs> face. <laughs> But I feel like that's part of being real, and I feel like that has been my downfall. Oh, man. Fucking lot of shit. What the fuck you want? But anyways, I feel like that's been my downfall on a lot of shit. And I just need to, like, not get so personal. I need to, like, fence myself off to a certain point, you know? Um, <clears throat> the music's a big thing. I've said many of times why and that I do still want to make music, and people still fucking get on my ass and fucking say, "Oh, well, you can't, you can't do this, you can't do." Let me clear this up. It's not that I can't. It's that 
I've said it before, I feel like I'm out of the mindset just to make some like lit ass shit because I wouldn't feel right about it because I ain't just lit, 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 lit. You know what I'm saying? Like, <sighs> music is something you can't force. <clears throat> you know, good music is just made, you know, when you're having fun, when you're just like, I don't know. Um,. I'm not done making music. I don't want anyone to think that I'm just more than music. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm being a motivational speaker. I'm being a YouTuber. I'm just ex expanding my branches because I'm not just a musician. I'm not just a rapper. I'm not just a fucking producer. You know, I'm not just this. I'm not just that. I'm not just one thing. I don't want no one to ever think that I was or ever am one thing. You know, when they think Freddie Bricks, I want them to think, shit, he does this, he does that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a person at the end of the day. And I think people forget about that. And a lot of people who have alternative motives forget about me being a person. You yeah, know? And it gets to me, it depresses me. <sighs> At the end of the day, I'm not proud of these videos. He can testify. I don't rewatch them. I'm not. I'm not proud in any way of the way I look. I don't take care of myself. I'm very honest about that. Other than like hygiene and you know, like my body, I take care of all that. But like my hair, my fucking beard, shit like that. No, I don't take care of. You know what I'm saying? Like. A lot of it's depress depression, and I don't want to put the blame on anything, and I'm not, this isn't a blame game, you know, but then the day, I'm not proud the way I look, I'm not proud of everything I say, everything I do, I'm not proud of any video, I would never want my son to see me like this, period, and, uh, Soldier Boy said it best on his on his breakfast center club about the Gucci headband. You know, why didn't you take it off? Why didn't you take it off? He said, I felt like there still needed to be more done. You know, I wasn't done. You know, and I'm motivating people. I'm trying to change the world by changing people, people's point of views, people who are so in close, I want them to open up and I want them to be just a person, you know what I'm saying, more emotional, more, like, more loving, and it's hard, you know, and people look at you like, damn, like, you're crazy and shit like this, but at the end of the day, I know I look crazy. I've said it multiple. I said it so many times, right? Yeah. I know I fucking look crazy. You know, that's the point. Y'all don't know what I've been through. When I come on here and I'm looking nice, I'm looking all 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 spliffy, all spiffy and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, then y'all are gonna be like, damn, Fred, like, what, what's up? Like, y'all are gonna know, like, shit, he's really doing shit, and, like, not that I ain't doing shit, you know, I don't want anyone to think I am a bum, because I'm never, I'm never broke, and I'm never gonna be a bum, that's two things I, I can't be, I would either be dead, if I wasn't one of those, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm a hustler at the end of the day, People just, people just underestimate me and think, shit, he posts everything. I don't post half the shit I do. Y'all don't know me like that. 
I'm just gonna be real. Y'all don't know me like that. So I hate to say this because people will think, oh, you you got you got the Rona, but uh, I was sick uh, yesterday, and I will give you the reason why I was sick. So I ate two things of ramen, I ate two different kinds of hot pockets, and the barbecue always makes me sick. I don't know why I got the barbecue. The barbecue always makes me sick. I swear to God, so does the ham and cheese. But that's <laughs> that's the two I cooked, man. That's the two I cooked. And we we've been having that problem over here, so we've been like covering up the drains and shit. So when I had to throw up, bro, I'm gonna be real as fuck. I was taking a shit, bro. I was taking a shit, some fucking like badass diarrhea, bro. Like I was sick as a motherfucker in like sweats and shit. Like so long story short, I was drinking and eating <laughs> bad mixture bad mixture yeah but i spelled that shit coming and i was like shit do i get off and like risk fucking this diarrhea fucking dripping all all over me and all over the floor i'm like fuck that fuck that i'm like let me get this trash can hopefully it's not too liquidy that shit was liquid as fuck this was liquid as fuck but I just threw up like like about three or four times like hard as hell and like this just tells you how fucked up my mindset is the first thought that came into my mind was well shit at least I lost the calories like I'm gonna be real like I have an eating problem, I have an eating disorder, and it's because I let people get to me, you know, people will say things, and at the end of the day, it could, it, it, it won't be the people who I care about, and it still hurts me, just because I'm a fucking person, I'm a fucking, young boy said it best, uh, fucking, I forget what song, but it starts with, I just want to be loved. Oh, lo lonely child. And at the end, he says, I got feelings just like a little boy. Like, you know what I'm saying? You remember that, right? Yeah. And that's some real shit. I got feelings just like a little boy. Like, fucking someone talks about guns. Someone talks about this or something I'm interested in. I'm fucking like a, a kid at candy store. Fucking, I had a girl call me. I fucking get all giddy. I fucking start covering my face and shit. Like, I, I fucking... Y'all seen me on some of my videos when I get personal, I was covering my face and shit. Like I'm, I'm getting like real insecure and just shy, cause like that's me as a person. But like it used to be like I could just play it up and be crazy and just this and that and just, you know. I watched my old videos before. In particular, I'm talking about the video with uh, when we're taking the dads in my dad's house, and you're just like, I didn't get a dad. Uh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And you had to run out, and I was acting like a dick, but that was a character I played. And, you know, it worked. People, like, would say shit about me. It wouldn't affect me. My music was going good. Like, I was just... I hope y'all get what I'm saying, and uh, like I said, as much as it hurts me, this is probably going to be my last 
video where I'm being direct, directly real with y'all guys, just for the well-being of my sanity. But, um, I'm gonna go enjoy one of my new pastimes, and I'll fill y'all in on what that is. Is standing on my balcony, staring off into the world, and being like, damn, that's all mine. And I don't mean that narcissistically, I mean that in the sense of positive. A uh, law of attraction, I mean. Because law of attraction is real. In the sense of if you want it, if you put in the work, if you try hard enough, if you do this, if you do that, you will get it. You know, at the end of the day. So never give up. You know. Never feel alone. And as long as I can, you know, I'm going to continue to do videos for you guys. Hopefully, things will get better and it won't be such a fucking, damn, I got to do a video. Damn, I don't want to do a video. Damn. You know, they're going to say this. They're going to say that. Fucking. I shouldn't need. I shouldn't. It shouldn't be like that. So, um, next video, you know, I might overplay the character at first, but, uh, I'm gonna go back to fucking Country Fred. I don't think I ever did the character on YouTube, but I did him on Instagram for people who followed me on Instagram last year, and, yeah. Just uh, be on the lookout for that. I'm going to go out on my balcony, enjoy the fucking wind, smoke a cigarette or two, just, you know what I'm saying, maybe call my girlfriend and shit, just enjoy life. And then uh, I'm going to come back for a vanilla Yoohoo review. Doing that on my channel? No. This, this yeah, bitch. I'm taking your review. <laughs> I'm taking it. Give me that shit. Move. Hey. So I'll catch you guys back in the next one. Be sure to spread now, but peace, love, and positive vibes. That's all we're going to see. Oh. Where's my essay with the $10? I didn't see my side. Essay, you owe me $10. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm done. I'm <laughs> done. Peace.